So update, uh, you've been doing a lot of work. You've been doing a lot of speeding around Prince William County, getting some, getting some blessings out. So you want to give me a quick update about, you know, where we are with the, uh, with the initiative, to, uh, do it for Megan, um, and just let people know how, um, how, how, how God's been blessing, blessing us through them um, to do wonderful work. Yes, they, I mean, this has been absolutely an overwhelming blessing. I couldn't believe the response that everyone has given us. It's really been incredible to watch and to see, and then to be on this end of it is incredible. Um, uh, yeah, next year, um, next year, I'm always thinking about next year, what we're going to do different, and I'm going to have, you know, more hands on deck as far as this part of it, because these people turn out when you ask them for it. And so I will be ready to go. Um, we've received with between gifts, cash, gift cards, money around $12,000 at this point. Wow. Um, and actually I just got another hundred dollars in gift cards again today. Um, so it is amazing. I spent, there was two days I was going to have people come to Freedom and pick up their gift cards, but of course we had two snow days. Um, so yesterday I spent a good two and a half hours delivering gift cards. And you know what? That's really the best part is that you get to, you get to interact with these people and, and they're so thankful and so appreciative. And, and then I feel kind of bad because I'm the one that gets it all and it should be everybody, you know, should get to be blessed with, with that because that, that really fills your love tank or it fills mine anyway. It fills my heart up, um, humbles you in a way that you're not prepared to be humbled. Right. I know that. Um, um, one of the girls that I went to is pregnant and um, I, I actually do a pregnancy group and a teen parenting group at Freedom and so I was able to connect with her because I did not know she was pregnant before and build rapport and already have some good stuff in the works for her to get her prepared. Yeah. Um, we had a, a family that was behind in their power bill and um, one of your wonderful donors um, paid off her power bill and put her in a position so she can stay on her payment plan um, and then when I was the go-between, so when I went back to share what she said, you know, he wanted to help buy a Christmas tree because she has taken in three of her grandchildren and they have never had a Christmas tree before. And so he wanted to do that. And I've met families to pick up gifts. Um, there's just a, there's just a lot of people. Um, the list goes on and on. Um, from, I mean, freedom, even the, the teachers turned out for me, which I was really impressed with. Um, so there's just, a, there's just so many people that need to be, have a shout out to, um, that have just showed up. And um, I have, you know, I have my neighbors, Carl and Monica. I have people back home in Illinois that saw the post and have sent me gift cards that I went to school with, high okay. school. So I know Lisa Gass, and then I mean our insurance agent, um, Shane and um, Cassie Store, and then we have soccer friends, Nick and Nikki Coughlin, and then Megan's people turned out, of course. Um, Adam Segal and his wife, and Angela Villanueva, um, Joey, her husband. He was amazing. He met with me and and gave me gift cards and told me what it meant to him and his girls that that they can be a part of this and they want to continue to be a part of this for for Megan. Um, her mom called me or actually not called me but texted me. We've been going back and forth and I'm gonna meet with her and she is just overwhelmed by this gesture because um, she even agreed this is exactly what you know her daughter would do and, and feel strongly about. Yeah. Um, there's just so many people. Peter Gore, um, Christy Lovelace, Tamisha Morris. I got Ben and Andrea Johnson. I met a family this weekend from Bristow, Janine and her husband, who had all these gifts for this family, and they were so cute, and they had them all wrapped in, in particular bags and let me know who goes to who and they were very particular about making sure everyone got the right stuff which I loved um and she already says you know we want to do this next year so if you have a list put us on that list because we're going to show up and I said amazing 
I got a check from Louisa County from Della Nelson. Awesome. Yes. Um, Richard Weeks. Yes. All these people just turned out, and I'm absolutely amazed. Amazed. Let's go through the list of all the people. Let's just give them their shine. Let's make sure we 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 shine right. everybody that we possibly can. I know Jim Tanner, Tandem uh, Tandem Sports and Entertainment. Um, you know, we, we just had a lot of people that just kind of just stepped up and stepped, stepped out in a major way. I just want to make sure we give everyone um, the kudos and the thank you they deserve. Absolutely. And I don't know all the people. I know a lot of people gave to just the foundation yeah. itself. Yeah. Um, and I don't have the list of those the people, Zemet. but I do have the list. Yeah, the Zemets, the Tanners. Um, there are a couple other people that, that, gave, that gave directly to the foundation. Um, you know, um, AJ team, I, I, man, Alex stepped up. Um, <laughs> you want to tell huge. a little bit story about that? Yeah, Alex was huge. His wife and him um, contacted me and they wanted, they wanted to, to bless a family with gifts. And so I had the perfect young man and his mom and they wanted not a lot of things, but very intentional items. You know, they wanted a Bible and they wanted a, a journal and they wanted very, basic things for their home. And so Alex delivered one day in this huge box and I, and I opened it up and it was just filled to the brim of all these amazing things, blankets and towels and gift cards. And I mean, they went above and beyond. Um, and so actually a, a, a teacher wanted to deliver it because that's how I got their name. And, and she sent me the picture and the family was overjoyed. Um, so excited for what they have that they they prayed with her and, and we're so thankful. Um, so yeah, Alex was a big one. Alex is like, anytime you need anything, let me know. So he's in on this. Um, Josh from Tropical Cafe Smoothie. Yeah. Man, yeah. man, he is there. And if if Alan's not around, he's my go-to. He he lets me know he's there. So anything um, that I need, he let me know he's there to help. So the list is, we have Lisa Gass from Illinois. We have Carl and Monica, my neighbors. Um, Jessica Dorian, she was a teacher at Freedom. Misha Morris, Christy Lovelace, Patrice Richardson, she's at Freedom. Um, Nick and Nikki Coughlin, Shane and Cassie Storr, Nisha J. sorry, that's how the gift card came. Um, <laughs> ben and Andrea Johnson, um, Adam Seagal, Angela, the... Villanueva, Villanueva. Yep. Um, Joey Radcliffe, which is Megan's husband, Pete Gore, I have Pam Walker, amazing, we played uh, uh, on basketball with her, travel basketball, my son, and she turned out in a huge way, yes. um, Kanika Sproul is at, or Sproul is at Freedom, uh, Brandy Garrett, yes. Zalita Velez, yes. Richard Weeks, um, Jeremy and Marissa Palmberg, um, Bella Nelson, Nancy Corbett, my son's preschool teacher, yeah. um, Jacqueline Chenault, which is Megan's old co-worker, wow. um, Craig and Jessica Hayes, Stephanie Edwards, Jermaine Hector, yeah. um, Kathy Meeker. We have a couple anonymous, which the cards did not list anyone's names. Yeah. Um, I got a Kendall Kendall. That's how she put it on the card. Um, um, a Pat Odie. She was a teacher at Freedom. Uh, Freedom High School as a whole gave when I went to go pick up gift cards. They just said Freedom High School. Um, and I got quite a few of those. Um, Mr. Bergman was from Freedom. Betty Kerr. She helps me do the pregnancy group. And then um, Pamela Green. Um, with shoes and clothing, and I've given out a lot of the shoes already. I'm gonna deliver more today. So, yeah, that's awesome. Amazing. So, yeah, everyone, look, I I think it's it's important for people to hear your name, but please understand that God hears your name. God knows your heart, right? God, it, it, when we when we do these things, it's not from a position of trying to take the credit. It's from a position of us co being collective and being a group and being the cohesive unit, the hands and the feet that God wants us to be. There are a lot of people out there that talk it and there are people out there that walk it and you guys have walked it. You guys have walked it. You guys have put in the energy. You have taken the effort. 
you've had the thought, you've had the conversations with your family about how you can be a blessing in the community. And, you know, I just want to shout you out, Aaron, I kind of threw this on you, right? I threw this on you. Um, you, 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 you took it and ran with it. Um, you know, and there's so many people, I mean, I'm just thinking about someone who asked for a Bible in a journal for Christmas. Like, what is that? How is God moving through that? Um, just the kids that will have Christmas that would not have had Christmas if you guys hadn't stepped up and stepped in in a major way. Um, and not just taking it just from here, but took just the gift and the opportunity and the resources that you had, you used it and you multiplied it. And I know that God's smiling down on you and your family and your community in a way that um, is going to be a blessing for everyone. So um, Aaron, I appreciate you, sis. And um, I think and I appreciate you. Uh, no, it's, you know, we wanted to this year. So it was something on our heart that we wanted to find a way to infuse our community. Uh, we knew it was a time and a moment that we needed to step in. And Megan galvanized us even in her passing. She, she has galvanized her legacy is something that's going to live on. And that's something that, uh, that we intend to take seriously. We, t we intend to, to, to nurture and cultivate. So every year when you hear us say, do it for Megan. It's going, this is what it's going to be. This is not about the AJ team. It's not about Aaron. Um, it's all about what Megan would have wanted us to do um, and how she would have wanted us to act. So I think it's only appropriate that we pray and then we'll get up out of here. I'm going to hit the pool. Um, Lord, okay. thank you for this moment and this time and this energy. Thank you for allowing us to come together um, as a group and, and bless and, uh, and serve, most importantly. Um, allow our hearts um, to be humble. Um, and the opportunities that we have with our families to be in, in situations where we can give and situations where we can enjoy the things that you give us, but also allow us during this moment in time of reflecting upon, um, upon Christmas and all that it means uh, for us to, to be great servants, um, to us to be able to serve, for us to get low um, so we can elevate your name um, and elevate the people that you want uh, that you want us to elevate, Lord. And we ask you just to bless every family that gave, every family that received, everyone that wanted to give, and everyone um, that we know we need to continue to give to throughout the year. Allow us just to continue to be a, a unit that makes you smile of all diasporas, from all different places in the earth, from all different walks of life. Um, uh, just, 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 just being the cohesive team that just uh, represents you in the best way. All these things we pray in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Aaron, I love you. Perfect. Love you, Jim. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you again. You got it.